it's nice to see you again on my channel. I was looking for a test bench with something new and found this one on Amazon. In this video, I will assemble the case, build a gaming PC with stock components, then review the frame. Many of my viewers ask me about the PC fan installation, so I'll talk about it later. Before getting into the assemble, today's video is sponsored by CDKOffers.com. The CDKOffers.com is an online PC software shop selling attractive games and softwares at the awesome price. They offer Windows 10 Pro with only $17. I use the same Windows 10 Pro keys for my PC builds. To get more great pricing from the CDKOffers.com, you can simply fill the discount code NT20 and you will get another incredible 20% discount on your purchase. You can choose a payment from the various options such as a credit card, PayPal, and so on. After the payment, wait for a few minutes and you will receive an email and your order status will be changed. Finally, you will receive the Windows 10 activation code. For the Windows 10 activation, I prepared the Windows installation USB. That's much easier. Just follow the instruction, then fill the Windows 10 activation code. After additional few steps, your Windows 10 is activated. Thanks CDKOffers.com for sponsoring my video.
The frame was not difficult to assemble. What I need is to accurately fix the frame align with the bolt holes of the motherboard. That might take some time. If you can manage it by adjusting the frame, any of ATX, Mini ATX, or Micro ATX can be fit. Each of the frame components are precisely processed and very stiff after assembled. Up to 240mm AIO radiator can be attached to the acryl panel. GPU vertical holder is also enclosed, so it's possible to mount the GPU in vertical, but riser cable is needed. There are many additional parts such as the bolts and nets are enclosed, so I believe it can be possible to build a water cooling PC with this frame, which is good for future expansion. A good thing about this frame is the footprint. I need only 30cm by 25cm. I can store the frame on the shelf. Depends on the PSU design, a PSU holder interferes with the PSU switch or power connector. Also, when I lay the frame on its side, it's unstable, so I need to replace the components on vertical position. So, to conclude, the open frame design is okay and has so many options for future expansion. But considering the price of around 100 US dollar, it's a little bit expensive. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and hit like. See you next time soon.